Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to show you how to remove stubborn applications from Windows 10 that you cannot uninstall by traditional means, all right? Okay, so for this particular tutorial, we're gonna use GeekBuddy as the, uh, as the example program that we're having problems uninstalling. All right, so we're gonna take you through the traditional way just to say we did, just so you understand, just so you know, all right? Just in case you know you're making a mistake there. So, all right, Windows 10, first approach, we are going to type in control, all right? And then we're gonna to go to the control panel desktop app. All right, next, uh, we'll go ahead and change our view by to category just to make it easier on you. And then click on uninstall the program, all right? This point, locate your program, and just simply right-click on it and select uninstall. All right, select yes here, and then run through the um, the uninstall of the app. All right, if that um, uninstalls your application, you're pretty much done. All right, but most likely you probably would not have come to this particular tutorial if it was you know that easy. So, all right, okay. Let's just say, for instance, you go to the control panel and you don't see your program listed there. All right, in uh, you know the uninstall the program. All right. If that's the case, locate the program's icon, if it has like a desktop icon or even from the start menu, and right click on it, and then select properties. All right, and then click on open file location, all right? Okay, now from within this folder, all right, this is for Geek Buddy here, we're gonna look for the uninstall shortcut. And let's see if it even has one. No, it does well here. Hold on. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we don't really see one in here for this one. Okay. Uh, your program may be different, all right. But like I said, if you don't actually see your an uninstall uh, shortcut in here, all right, this this uh, technique actually won't work for you. But if you do, simply double click on the executable and run through the uninstall of your application. All right. Now the third uh, approach. All right. The third approach would be to uh, use an, uh, an application uninstall utility, all right? But to do this, what we want to do is make sure, all right, that we close the application we're trying to uninstall. All right, so I'm gonna just look down through here. We're gonna find Geek Buddy here within Task Manager, all right? You can just press Control Alt Delete simultaneously one time to get to it. And then we're gonna select to end the task, just Geek Buddy. And there's still some of the notification, something else running. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this too if I can get away with it. Maybe I can't, so let me just scroll down here real quick. All right, in the task, in the task. Okay, and that actually, we're gonna get rid of this too because we need to make sure it's totally closed. All right, okay. Now, once our application is closed, we're gonna go ahead and open a web browser. All right, then we're gonna to go to Google, and then we're gonna type in IOBit uninstaller, okay? IOBit uninstaller. And I'm gonna to try to slow down just a bit because a few of you all have actually mentioned that you know we have a tendency to go a little bit swiftly through the tutorials. So let me slow down just a bit, give you a chance to catch up. All right, so once you've typed in IOBit uninstaller, uh, go ahead and click on the, it's most likely gonna be the first uh, result in your search, but make sure it's iobit.com, okay? And then click on that link. All right, next, click on, it should uh, say the iobit uninstaller, six or whatever version, all right? They're actually on by the time you actually watch this tutorial. Click on free download. All right, and then click on download again. Uh, the second download uh, button will be at uh, download.com, of course. All right, after that, go ahead and install the application. All right. And I'm giving this just a chance to download here, even though I already have it installed. We're just trying to go somewhat real time here. Okay. And we're gonna continue, shrink that down. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open the application. We're just gonna say we've just installed it, okay. And we'll give it a, okay, we're gonna say yes at the UAC. Okay, now 
uh, what you're gonna do, uh, all right, it's in the upper left, we're gonna select all programs, or you can just select recently installed programs, which will narrow the list down some, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is you can install uh, uninstall a group of applications here by checking each one, or you can simply locate your application, and we're using Geek Buddy for this example. And we're gonna click on the trash can over here, right underneath oper operation, okay? All right, then it's gonna ask if you want to uh, create a restore point. We, su we suggest you select yes here, all right? And it will take some time to actually create it, you know, maybe, maybe a minute or two, all right? After it's done, um, then it will actually move forward with uninstall. But for the sake of this tutorial and time, I'm not gonna select it, but we suggest you do. All right, so we're gonna click on uninstall. Now, the first thing it's going to do is it's gonna call upon the application's uninstall utility, okay? Now, we're going off the basis that this failed, okay? All right, which is why you've actually come to this tutorial, all right? So what I'm gonna do is just to, you know, treat things as if that the application's built-in uh, uninstaller failed, I'm gonna cancel this and we're gonna let the IOBit uninstaller work without any help from the built-in uninstaller. All right, so we're gonna click on Powerful Scan in the lower right. And we're gonna give it just a minute. All right, now, you can actually see what it's actually located on the system. All right, okay, these are the registry entries, which are countless. All right. And these are the, the files it's actually located. All right, which are also countless. All right, so what we're going to do is it's gonna automatically select all the files. So we're gonna go ahead and click on delete in the lower right. And then we're gonna click on okay. All right, and all right. Okay, we can actually see what it's actually removed. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and click on close. All right, now uh, depending on your application, uh, at this time we would actually suggest you go ahead and restart your system, all right, to complete uh, the uninstall, you know, just in case there were some files that could not be deleted, um, you know, while Windows was actually still, you know, running. All right, so just in case, you know, you missed some of that, we're going to go ahead and use Byte Fence as another example. All right, we're going to go ahead and click on the trash can again. Remember, you're going to click on create a restore point before uninstalling. All right, we're going to go ahead and click on uninstall. All right, it's gonna call upon the uninstaller. Let Now, here's the thing, let the uninstaller run if it can, okay? Now this one, we're gonna let it let the built-in uninstaller run. Now after it's done, the, uh, un the IO bit uninstaller will run right behind it and check for any leftover, uh, you know, any remnants. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close that. All right. Now, that, now this one, the uninstall, the built-in uninstall is actually run, but that's okay. All right, it's done. Now we should have cleaned up everything, but just in case, we're gonna click on powerful scan. And I'm also noticing that the Geek Buddy shortcut is here. I gotta delete that, but I'll do that after this. Okay, now it's saying there are no leftover, no leftover items, all right? So we can just go ahead and close this, okay? All right, and since this is actually still left, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that, okay? And the same thing still applies. Uh, restart your system, you know, just in case there's, there were some leftover files, okay? And uh, that actually should do it, all right? Uh, now this actually completes the uh, this tutorial on how to uninstall stubborn programs from Windows 10 that you cannot uninstall by traditional means. Thank you for watching.